Frank, good morning. Well, her name is Janice Quinones, and she is now making history for the city of Los Angeles as the highest paid city worker, making more money than Mayor Karen Bass, who essentially nominated her for this position. Yesterday, the LA City Council, they voted unanimously to appoint her as the new head of the DWP. Here's a listen. We got to be more accessible. That's our duty, and it's a privilege for us to serve our customers, um, and, and one that I don't take very lightly. There was at some point a nationwide search for who would take on the job as the head of the DWP after former general manager Martin Adams announced he would be retiring from his position. Quinones is expected to begin her new job with a big salary, $751,000 a year, and that's nearly twice as much as her predecessor. Funding for Quinones' salary will come directly from the department's revenues and will not impact the city's general fund, according to the city council. Members of the council yesterday saying the salary reflects the pay in such a competitive market with private and public agencies. And essentially, if we want to be competitive when it comes to clean energy, we need to pay for it. Quinones comes from PG&E, where she was a senior vice president. During the meeting yesterday, some of the council members asked Quinones about her goals and her thoughts when it comes to climate change and beautification of facilities and infrastructure upgrades, considering now she will be overseeing an agency that serves millions of Angelinos. Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez emphasized that Quinones will have all eyes on her due to previous issues with transparency and corruption at the DWP, which occurred prior to Adams' tenure. Part of the overall goal moving forward is to build toward a 100% renewable energy by 2035. According to the mayor's office, Quinones brings more than 25 years of experience as a senior executive in utility and engineering industries. Well, I think if somebody is uh is competent and has a good background and they've done uh, proper vetting, then maybe she's worth all that, that uh, they want to pay her. But it does seem excessive. Now, Quinones will be starting her new job effective immediately, but her predecessor will be staying on for a short period of time to ensure that it is a smooth transition. Reporting live here in Leishman Village this morning, I'm Lena Bovian at KTLA 5 News.